A-R-Y-A-R-H-Y-A-N-B-L-A-N-C-O-N Back with another it's your girl Naya back again with another banger and today we're going to be doing a juicy Q&A a juicy get to know your girl bad facts five facts about your girl We're finna, we're finna do this. Y'all, I'm scared. Because I looked at these questions and some of them juicy. But I'm not gonna do the ones that's too juicy. Because y'all trying to be business like. But, yeah, your girl got her some food. And we're finna do this q and My edges just definitely melted. Now, look at them. That little bag of clothes. My drawers all open. Lord Jesus. But, yeah, your girl... It's finna eat, and we're finna answer all these questions for y'all. I'm finna tell y'all what, you know, what this channel finna look like, what I expect from this channel, everything that I want to see, all the goals and everything I want for this channel. So, yeah, if you haven't already liked Coming and subscribe and turn on the post on the screen. You're not doing the do. You're 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 doing the do. you what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay. Hold on. Y'all, I can find a piece of paper. All them questions on here. Well, not all of them, because I ain't feel like writing all of them. <clears throat> but some of them that I might answer. I might only do 10. I'm not going to count. But anyways, before we get into the Q&A, your girl is back at home. And your girl is finna grow up. Um, I got my food from... I forgot what the truck called. I think it's like Drake's Burgers or something. It's loaded in the it's uh, it's located in a two or five two or two o five two o. That's suspicious. Yeah, it's That's weird. But anyways, before we get to the juicy Q and A. Let's get into these five facts about me and what I expect from this channel. What is my accomplishments? What is my goals? What do I want for this channel? What does this channel mean to me? We're going to get into all that, all that, all that. But I'm thirsty, so we're going to drink a Sprite. Oh, let me show y'all what I got. So, I got a burger. I just said that, but I got a burger and fries. The kind of burger I got, I think on the menu it's called a pepper burger. I don't really know. But it's basically grilled onions, grilled bell peppers, cheese, and that's it. And meat. In the special in the special sauce. So and it's a big old burger. Like one thing about me, I do not like burgers. But ever since yesterday, I've been I've been lately I've been craving burgers and then I saw like a little add picture of a like different burgers and he looks so good but i don't like burgers but i got it because they had chicken fingers and wings but i'm tired of chicken so let's eat some beef what's four plus four eight anyways but let's get into these five facts about me first fact about me my name is anaya ryan blenty so, my intro, when I spell out A-N-I-Y-A-R-H-Y-A-N-B-L-A-N-T-O-N, back with another banger. 
I basically spelling out my whole name. Anaya Ra Yen. Not Ryan. Not Ryan. It's Ra. I can't put the H with it. Ra Yen. Blinton. My name is Anaya Ryan Blinton. I am 16. I am currently a Woodland cheerleader. I currently attend Woodland High School. And some facts about me is that I've been in private school my whole and almost my whole entire life. Up until seventh grade is when I moved into a public school. But it wasn't really a public school because sixth grade was COVID. Seventh grade, we was just getting back. Like st people were still doing virtual. People were still doing homeschool and all that. But I decided to actually be homeschooled. Like, so, well, I didn't really decide. My mom decided because she, she just wanted me to be a very smart, intelligent girl. What? Um, child. Anyway, so. But, yeah, your girl was homeschooled. Okay, I was in private school from first grade to sixth grade. Seventh grade, I was homeschooled. Eighth grade is when I finally moved to a, a in-school public school. Yeah. I found that's my first time ever being in a Birmingham City school. I went to Putnam Middle. Um, ninth grade year, I went to Woodland. And I'm still at Woodland. And the girl is a sophomore. I am a Capricorn. What are some, some facts about me, y'all? I don't know. I'm a Capricorn, so I like to get money. And I'm very goofy. And very, y'all, I'm very mature for my age, too. One thing about it, like, I'm 16, but you don't think I'm um, 18, 17. Not too high, but you get the point. Yeah. Um, Let's see. My favorite artist is Summer Walker. My favorite color is pink, like a baby pink like this type of pink right here with this little yeah not this type of pink i like all colors of pink but my favorite color is baby pink um my favorite food is seafood and mexican food i, I, I have five siblings i have three brothers and one sister and i have well actually i have four brothers and one sister but one of my brothers passed like there was a preemie baby and my mommy basically like yeah push out a dead baby dang it just got dark but yeah i have four siblings that's living one of my siblings is not literally my sibling like he's my cousin but we was raised like we were siblings we was raised like we were twins and because he's only six months apart from me and his mommy is my tt which is my sister i mean which is my mother's sister so his mom is my mother's sister my mother is his mother's sister which is his auntie and we've been living with each other our whole lives and raised with each other and everything like he used to call my grandma on my dad's side his grandma like it was very much that's what we was given um what else? I have a best friend. Her name is Janaya. And I have a childhood best friend. Her name is Janaya. Why I'm saying y'all full names, but they're gonna be mad when they see this. Um. Yeah. Anyways, that's all the facts I can really think about me. So let's go ahead and move on to what I expect from this channel. Honestly, I expect success. Like, there's really nothing more to it. Like, I didn't enjoy, like, create a YouTube and become a, a content creator because I wanted to get money or I wanted to get known or a name or anything like that. But literally for myself, like, I'll catch myself vlogging or something. Like, who am I vlogging to, girl? You don't got no camera on. And it was just like... You're doing this every day, wasting time where you can actually be doing something you love, trying to do something you love while keeping yourself busy, 
while uh, making money and just have like, you know, who, who said I'm going to make money? I don't know. I'm just here for the journey. Like, hopefully I will get to that point where I can make money from it. And I will get to the point where, you know, I get paid or anything because this is not easy. Like, it took me like two days to edit real talk and it could have took me shorter time if I didn't have nothing to do like could have been like a day but yeah um so honestly I expect success I expect a successful journey like I am so excited like and I know like a couple girls on my cheer team they start YouTube and stuff. So I'm just like, okay, I might as well start it. Everybody's doing something that I want to do so badly, that I've been wanting to do so badly. Girl, stop lacking. Like, stop making excuses for yourself and actually do it. So, yeah. um, That's really it. Like, I just really want this channel to be so successful. And I want to get to the point where it gets so successful, I can start being a content creator on YouTube. Like, I can even start that now, but I'm not going to put too much on me because I'm still a cheerleader and stuff, and I still be busy, and I still have school and all that. But when it gets to that time, I want to start on YouTube, and then, like, I want to do nails and, like, individual lashes and hair and stuff so I can have a whole nother channel and make money off of, um, yeah, like I can have different channels and stuff and make money, period. But I'm I'm not doing it for the money, y'all. I swear to God, I love y'all. Like I actually want to, like I have a passion for it. Like, not no, just trying to get paid. Like I'm trying to get paid, but we're trying to have fun too and have a successful lady experience. So yeah, I just I want to get to that point where I'm dear or like. I have somebody to edit for me. I have a manager. I have promotions. All of that. Like, I want to get big. And I'm not saying that I want to do this for the rest of my life. Because if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But it's going to work out because I'm a grind. And I'm going to make it happen. Like, there's nothing I can't do. And yeah. Like, we're trying to get up there. And I know it takes time. And it doesn't ho happen overnight. But it's going to happen. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and eat. And let's get into these Q&A questions. Because it's already 10 uh, minutes into the video. Okay, I was trying to open this freaking ketchup thing. But it... It's not perfectly out, but y'all. It's out enough where I can squirt some ketchup on these fries. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. I'm gonna check out this burger before I get into it. I'm fucking hurry up. Mmm. Ooh. Man, oh man. Let's take a bite. You know what about me? I love to eat. I'm such a foodie, like. But anywho, let's get into our first question because some of these questions are kind of juicy. I'm not going to count. So, hmm, first question is, when was your first time ever skipping class? Like, ever skipping class? I don't count. It was like my eighth grade year. And Miss Moore, I don't think you're going to see this. Hopefully you don't. But, I skipped her class because... why not it's banned oh my god that was not the first class i skipped the first class i skipped was pe no i had 50 absences my eighth grade year for pe like i could have failed and some of them weren't even accurate i probably was absent a lot but 50 no but that's not accurate. i had 50 absences no 50 absences, bro. So my chick gonna say the fish because 
Okay, so we're gonna have some of them. But, yeah. So my first time I ever seen the class was my eighth grade year. And it was PE. Oh, it's Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, next. Who was your worst breakup? My worst breakup was Chris Allen Jr. I'm sorry. It really was. I'm not going to get into detail with it. Because I hate talking about, like, me and his past. But, yeah. That was definitely my worst breakup. I thought it was DK. But he definitely had. Mm -mm. He definitely made his big one. Um. Mm, what is your favorite memory? I went on a friend date with this boy named <laughs> and we went to the movies and it was so it was like my favorite memory. It was so fun. Like I was genuinely happy. Like I don't know. And it's not even like Nothing extravagant. It's so simple, but I think that's my favorite memory. Where is my sexual attitude? I am straight. I'm. Let me tell y'all the tea about that. I dated a girl before, but technically I don't count it because it was like a week, and I don't know what I was doing. Right? We're not even gonna talk about that. So all my family for watching this, I'm so sorry. My grandma, Lord Jesus, I love you. What is your opinion on weed? Honestly, I feel like it shouldn't be illegal because it's a whole herb. Like what? I mean, not herb. It's a whole herb, and it's a plant. Just like making cilantro illegal because it's so tangy, or the taste it has. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't know. But anyways, what is your... It's not that simple, but I'm not going to get into that. I really don't feel like it. Cause I'm trying to hurry up. It's already 15 seconds long. I mean, a minute. Someone you miss. Somebody I miss is my grandmother and my grandpa. This tattoo represents them. Two butterflies. R.I.P. to them. Have you ever skipped school? <laughs> yes. But let me tell you, my first time ever like skipping school was my ninth grade year. This little thugger I used to have cahoots with. Let's just say that. I'm in so fed right here. Like federal. Literally. All the tea. All the tea. Um, and if you need more, my coach is watching this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like we used to just talk for real, but I don't even classify as talking because we was just really cool. But this little thugger I used to have a crush on. It was like the end of school, and he was like, "Oh, are you going home?" And I was like, "Yeah," but my teacher come pick us up. So he was like, "I'm gonna go with you," and I was like, "Damn, my teacher can't pick us up." He was like, "You wanna just skip school?" Like. I was like, I don't know, some, some, some. I'm not that type of girl. Like, I'm a cheerleader. They can go back and tell my coach. I'm telling on myself now. But, I said, no, I'm a cheerleader. Boom, boom. So, he was like, you scary. So, so, so. I was like, no, I'm just, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. So, then, he had got a lift to come get us. Well, to get me, him, and my cousin. And I was like, I was like, no, I'm not mine. I'm not going. Y'all can just go without me because Coach is doing too much. I don't He's like, man, stop being a and, and come on and stuff like that. And so, I think I got my boo bag on. He's like, come on, bro. So then, I walked out the lunchroom. My coach, my softball coach, he started calling my name. He's like, Blanton, where you going? So, so, so. Y'all, I was finna stop. The little whoop, my little thug him. He was like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Listen to him. I was like, no, he goes to my coach. He came and got me. He dragged me. He said, come on, bro. Come on. Then, we walked all the way back to the football field. 
Well, what they was bidding for by film. Snuck out of school. I think I told too much. Well, that's too bad. But I talked so much, y'all. I just told all my business. But, yeah. I didn't even have to tell the story. It was just having you over to school. Yes. Somebody, I'm not even going. Somebody said Dakari or Willie. I'm guessing they mean what I, like, who would I choose. I don't care. I might choose the car. Man, that's hard. No. I ain't gonna care. I'm gonna choose Willie because me and Willie, that was a hurtful relationship. But Con the car was way hurtful. Like, he was, but he was bold with it. And I let him, I let him do, like, mean stuff to me. Would you rather go back with Devin or Chris? Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. some tea that's some tea who was your first love my first love was dk who is your favorite cheer sister i ain't gonna say i have a favorite because like once you get to know like once you get to know your whole cheer team it's not a favorite like you love your whole cheer team like literally everybody become your favorite so, but last year, it used to be, um, Jaquila and Keisha. Okay, um, no. Who is your favorite ex? Y'all already know that one. I don't know you know who. It's that. Y'all already know. What was your first kiss? My first kiss? I think it would. It just say first kiss. Like, I swear to God. I probably is definitely have the questions to ask. My, I'm going to just say my first kiss was with Willie. Your first time drinking. Like heavily or just like a sip, you know. My first time drinking, I don't even remember y'all because y'all know y'all aunties and your uncles give you a little sip of they drink. It was probably one of them times, but I think my first time like actually drinking alcohol, I don't know what age I was, but I know my granddaddy used to give me like a sip of his alcohol, my uncles, my TT, all of them, all of them, all of them. Anyways, y'all, that's it for this Q and A. That's it. Y'all got some juicy questions. I try to answer them fast because it's twenty minutes, twenty one minutes long. Like I might not even put this in the vlog that I was gonna put this in because it is so long. But that's some stuck like in my throat, and I just. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for this video. Um, coming, what was your favorite answer out of me? Like, you know, what was, I forget because I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Make sure y'all like, comment, and smash.
about it and turn on those post notifications so you can get notified every time your girl drop a banger. Every time. What about it? What about it? You gonna beat me up? Wait, some, some, some? Because I guarantee you can beat me up. Period. You're not gonna beat me up about it. If you mess with me, if you really mess with me heavy, how I mess with you, if you love me, if you like me, go ahead and do all of those things for me and we'll be best friends forever. Best friends forever. Like, I will always love you. Like, if you support me, I will always support you. If you're there for me, I'll always there for you. Whatever you give to me, I will always give right back to you. Period. But this is going to be the end of this video. I hope y'all liked it. Comment, great friends. Best. Comment, Simone. I think Louis does it the best. Comment, the next tattoo does it the best. Mm -hmm. I was gonna fall off. I had to bring you back.